Um, this morning, students to be alert after several armed robberies have been reported on or near campus yesterday. You can see one here caught on camera. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli is joining us from the campus where she spoke with one of the victims. Courtney. Yeah, Micah, I'm right. The first of two alleged armed robberies that happened yesterday was right here along this busy stretch of South University Avenue on the university's campus. A young woman was one of two victims here. You'll see her in a video that captured those moments in just a moment, but she tells us she is thankfully physically okay. You never think it will be you. And then you're, when I was confronted with that moment, I was just Look in. Look at this white girl. All the privilege that these black girls say she got. No one. Every, <laughs> right, all the black girls, she's privileged. She got privilege. What privilege she got? They watch who's, her coming, they watch. <laughs> who's coming to her aid? Where, where's why's all the she, help at? Why is she not weaponizing her white tears? <laughs> think it will be you and then you're when I was confronted with that moment I was just in utter disbelief it was an ordinary walk back That's from class the way. afternoon that took an <laughs> unexpected turn for this University of Chicago senior I've always felt safe personally you know it's upsetting that as students we get these alerts all of the time and Maddie found herself at the center of one all issued late in the day by campus police. According to a security alert, two armed robberies happened within just five minutes. All three victims, students. I've walked that street every day for four years. So my guard was down and I would have never expected it to happen there. It was just before three in the 5600 block of South University when campus police say two students on opposite sides of the street were approached by four suspects armed with handguns. I'm walking on the sidewalk and I see um, a man approaching me in a mask and kind of was just like, let me just keep walking. Maddie says a confrontation happened and the suspect demanded her phone before flashing the gun. The pair got into a tussle. I was grabbing for maybe my phone, maybe the gun. It's really like a blackout moment for me. Um, and I realized that I was able to grab the magazine out of the gun. The loaded magazine now in police custody. Wow. What the fuck? Wow. Her, man. That's G Mayo's niece and shit. <laughs> she a G, man. That's crazy. That's she a champ for that. Maddie Mayo you? monkey. Yeah, he must have been a rookie. 30. She pulled the 30 out of that joint. <laughs> Yo, my, my homie gotta go. He gotta be around these niggas now, man. <laughs> shit, they, they roasting the shit out of him, man. Oh yeah, cooking them. Oh, how you man. let a how you let a white girl steal your stick, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I feel bad for that dude, man. I mean, even though he's a piece of shit, I still feel bad for him. He, that that's a tough one right here, man. This is a tough one out of the gun the loaded magazine now in police custody maddie says and she hopes it will help solve the crime just minutes after that ordeal don't let niggas get bagged behind this oh my god not only That's did you terrible. get your sticks took but you got niggas bagged <laughs> that's terrible but you know he gotta lie he gotta lie and make up some shit it's on camera, Jack. It ain't no lie. Right, <laughs> right. Police custody, Maddie says, and she hopes it will help solve the crime. Just minutes after that ordeal sent people in the area scrambling to safety, another armed robbery involving two suspects with handguns reported in the 1300 block of East 56th Street. That crime under investigation by the Chicago Police Department. I, I want to feel safer on this campus. That's the bottom line. But I think we can always ask for more from our campus and our city. Maddie says she hopes fellow students and staff are vigilant and keep their guard up. When all said and done, she says her reaction was a knee jerk one and she's thankful to be okay. I couldn't necessarily really register the threat ahead of me. Um, so definitely wouldn't advocate for fighting back in, you know, losing a life over a phone is definitely not worth it. Now, police say there were no injuries reported in any of these incidents. The suspect did make off with Maddie's phone, but she was told it was ditched and she did get it back later by campus police. No arrests have been announced in any of these Bro. incidents. And in both of those armed... This nigga ain't even get the phone. What the fuck?